life after death. My first near-death experience happened at the age of 45 in 1995. I suffered a massive heart attack and subsequently had a triple bypass. After I came to my senses after the operation, I had a distinct memory of being transported to another dimension or place, if you will. For several months I thought that this memory was caused by drugs. But over time I came to the conclusion that it was something else. I drifted or floated to a place of such calm that cannot be measured. There was a blue sky, the bluest I have ever seen. Sometimes today I look at the blue sky and feel a sense of calmness. I saw tall grass gently swaying in the breeze over the hills. But there was no breeze, no sound. It was so quiet, I did not walk, but seemed to float very slowly over the fields. This place was filled with warmth, calmness and an inexplicable feeling of satisfaction and unity with the universe. As I floated very slowly over the hills and soaked up this feeling of great warmth, I saw frames of my children flashing across the horizon. These were not still pictures but pictures of them looking at me, very worried. They wanted me to come back to be with them. They needed me and they didn't say anything. I could hear them without seeing their lips moving. I knew I had to make a choice right then. If I hadn't, I wouldn't have returned. If this continued, I would be surrounded by this calmness and warmth forever. It would be nice to continue. To return I would go to a place of pain and pain. It would be filled with pain and responsibility. Pain from emotions, stress from life. I decided to return because my children needed more help in managing their future. Their future depended on whether I was there. There just wasn't time yet. Children are simply not ready to live on their own. I returned instantly. I saw no bright light, no angels, no sense of religious essence. My second near-death experience happened in 1997. I was in a serious car accident with many serious injuries. When I was pinned down in the car, I felt no pain, although my pelvis was broken in two places, my coccyx was broken, a rib pierced my lung. My skull was fractured and there were lacerations on my face, and part of my ear was torn off. I had many memories of the accident in the months following. But I had positive and full memories of the near-death experience when I regained enough consciousness to speak and stay awake without losing consciousness a few days later. I began to talk about my experience first to my son and then to others when I felt more comfortable talking about it. Again, I tried to evaluate if it was from the drugs or just the signals your mind is receiving when your body is shutting down. I again saw a place of warmth, love and friendship. It was kind of like a tunnel, but not round, it was a passage type tunnel that, as you can see, connects buildings or shops together. The type that crosses the street. Not narrow, but wide. I walked on it or it seemed to me that I was walking, but I do not remember how my legs moved. On both sides of the path it was not so light, but not dark either. When I got to the end of the tunnel, I could see people. It seemed like it was only from their waist. It wasn't scary at all. Everyone was smiling and happy. I saw faces that I recognized. I saw two grandfathers and my father. It was very dark behind their bodies, and I could feel the presence of many other people behind them. Someone shook my hand, greeting me. I think it was my father. He died of Alzheimer's disease and was in a terrible state when he died. But now he was upright and looked healthy, and I realized how small he really was. All these people were so happy to see me. At that moment, I felt the need to return to life. It was not a terrible feeling, 
but simply a moment when it was time to make a decision. I still don't think the decision to come back was mine. I feel like someone decided this for me. My hand was still holding, no longer shaking and greeting, the person I first started shaking hands with. The hand was very warm and soothing. My hand slipped slowly and carefully as I swam back to the world of the living. The hand did not hold me at all, but it had a very gentle grip. Then it was all over. I returned. Somewhere during this whole experience, or whatever it was, I remember a brown door with an old-fashioned china doorknob on it surrounded by a black background. I knew that on the other side of the door was a religious phenomenon, a very bright light, and probably God himself. This door is always there and available to everyone. I can go through this any time I want. I feel like my hand was on the doorknob and I could get through any time I wanted to. Looking back, I'm not afraid of death now. I have one distinct feeling that there are people who have switched sides against their will, and I feel very sorry for them. They are happy there because they have adjusted, but would rather spend more time in the real world to stay with loved ones. I used to be religious, but today I am not a religious person. Although now I have great respect for deeply religious people, I had an understanding of what very few people see, and I am happy that I experienced it. I like to tell people about it, but I'm very careful who I talk to about it. See also other interesting videos about life after death on our channel.